welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi, my name is Jamie and today we're going to look at this 2015 Dual Cab XL PX. Um, we'll start off by at the front, you can see it has a bull bar on it, uh, not quite sure what brand it is, I'll take a look see if I can, no, there's got no brand in it, well it does have a bull bar, that's something worth noting. Um, it did have some spotlights but they have, uh, have obviously been taken off for some reason. Um, as you can see here there's a little bit of paint missing. Um, nothing too serious for the age of the vehicle. Um, we'll come down the side. We do have also our spotlights, uh, not spotlights, sorry. We actually have our indicators in the uh, bull bar itself. Moving our way down the body, uh, take a look at our first wheel. Um, the wheel itself in very good condition, just paint coming off, um, just a bit of the chrome coming off, but really no big deal when it's a car like this. Um, tread is literally pretty much a brand new tire, there's plenty of tread left on there. Um, you can see that we have our indicator on the side of the car, and next to that we have our 3.2 and 6 speed automatic gearbox uh, indication there. Uh, we have our contrasting black uh, mirrors and door handle. We have our genuine Ford Ranger weather shields. Um, and the body itself, guys, it's in very, very good nick. Uh, literally nothing I can point out on this side of the car. Um, and the windows do look like they've been tinted as well, but that's worth noting. Uh, we will point out here, there are some scratches here. Look like they have been touched up, but you know, you can still see them. But guys, for workers like this, no, no big issue. Uh, I'm looking at our second premium alloy. Again, in very good condition. Just really those little stone chips that peel off the paint. But again, it's nothing. And the tire is again, almost a brand new tire. Uh, we have a aero class uh, canopy on the back. Actually goes in very well with this vehicle, almost pretty much the same height, so that looks extra good. Uh, you have your four x four badging here, and we do have a little bit of scuffing on this light here. Um, just to worth note. Um, we'll work our way down to the back. You can see we have a tow bar on the back. Um, it is a genuine Ford tow bar, I can see that. It does look like a heavy duty hitch as well. Um, we've got our Ranger badging, Ford badging. Um, we'll open up the canopy real quick so you can take a look inside there. As you can see, the uh, tow ball itself is actually in the back of the car. And as you can see, there's plenty of room there. So if you're using this for work and tools and all those uh, sorts of things, you've got plenty of room. Uh, work our way down to the third premium alloy. And as you can see, just like the other one, guys, pretty much identical uh, quality. And again, the tire in very good nick. Um, but moving our way down, the body again, literally spotless. And especially with this color, guys, things would stand out, but literally can't see anything. Um, and same with the fourth wheel, guys. Same as the rest and the tire itself. Plenty of tread. Wheels in great condition. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, open up the bonnet and take a look at the engine bay. All right, guys, uh, now we're taking a look underneath the bonnet. What we have here is a 3.2 turbo diesel engine. Uh, it is a five-cylinder engine um, situated with that automatic gearbox. Um, it's going to produce about 147 kilowatts and 470 newton meters of torque. Uh, it's got an 80-liter fuel tank, which is going to provide you about 9.2 liters for every 100 k's. Um, it also has six airbags, which actually gives it a five-star ANCAP safety rating. All right, guys, now taking a look inside the Ranger. Um, we'll start off on our driver's side door, um, as it is with all cars, but now these days we have our electric windows and actually a button to lock the windows if the kids are getting a bit annoying. Uh, we have our electric mirrors on the side here, so you can adjust obviously the mirrors left and right. Um, we actually have this little tab here, so that we can actually put business cards in there. Um, being this is a work card, you would uh, work car, you would actually use the business cards a lot. Um, in the cluster itself, you can see that we're in park right now. We have 288 k's empty. Um, says how many k's we have. We're on 98,000 k's, and we got. Um, it says obviously our fuel, our temperature, our speedo, and our uh, and our reps. Take a look at the steering wheel. Cruise control on our right. Uh, voice control on our left, and obviously to turn up and down the radio. Um, our right indicator stalk. Obviously our indicators, and we actually have auto lights as well. Uh, and our left hand stalk, obviously our uh, wipers. Uh, moving into the center console itself, uh, we have the Sync One system. So obviously you, you can speak to uh, through the phone, obviously. That's why you've got this nice keypad here, so you can actually call people. Instead of actually picking up your phone, you can just do it all from here. Um, obviously you've got your radio, AUX, and obviously your phone. Uh, menu buttons to just scroll through all the things in the Sync One system. Um, obviously your music button here to adjust 
the speakers and the uh, bass and all those good things. Um, button to lock all the doors, our hazards obviously, and just an info button on the side here. Um, and this TA button, I'm not sure what that is for. Um, our climate control settings, it's not dual, dual zone climate control, which is worth noting. Um, it is just single, single zone climate. Um, that's pretty standard, everyone knows how that works. We have hill, de hill descent control, so if you are going forward driving, that's something that's uh, worth noting that this vehicle does have, and obviously our stability control. Um, two power sockets, 12 volt power sockets, um, and just a little uh, opening in here, maybe you can put some cards or some pens or something like that. You get a nice storage compartment down here, put your phone in there and charge it from the sockets. Um, obviously our uh, six speed automatic gearbox, our um, button to adjust if we want four wheel drive, and uh, so four high and four low, and two high obviously, uh, two high obviously, sorry, two cup holders, our handbrake, and then the center console itself. Uh, you can see it has plenty of storage. It actually has two compartments, so if you open the other one, you can maybe put uh, things like your wallet or pens or business cards as well. And I'll just get the camera person just to take a pan around the car and have a look at the floors and the seats. She'll show you what good col uh, quality this car is actually in. Um, being a work car, he's in very good quality. And for the value it, 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 um, it goes for, this is a very good car. Guys, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video on the 2015 Ranger. Um, this car actually does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. So what that's going to give you is five years mechanical protection and 10 years premium roadside assist. If you have any other uh, questions on the vehicle or you'd like to book a test drive, please give us a call on 9907 My name's Jamie and thanks for watching.